Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I want to show you what I consider to be the best editing workspace in Premiere Pro. A great way to speed up your editing is to take a look at the workspace that you're using, that's the arrangement of the panels in Premiere, and ask yourself, is this slowing me down? Is this layout causing me to do more clicking and scrolling than I need to? That's exactly what I asked myself after years of using the default editing workspace in Premiere Pro. And look, this workspace gets the job done, but there are a couple issues that I have. The biggest problem is panel height. It doesn't take much for items to go off screen in this workspace. And I find myself having to do a lot of scrolling just to navigate to something. And this is certainly true of the project panel, but also the timeline panel over here. But there is an easy way to overcome this, and that's by using the magic shortcut in Premiere that every editor should know, and that's the Accent Grave key. Some people call it the tilde key. It's the key below the Escape key and above the Tab key. So if I hover my cursor over my Timeline panel and then I press Accent Grave, it instantly maximizes that panel to fill the screen. If I press it again, it restores everything back to the way it was. So this is a really quick way to expand a panel without having to resize everything manually. The only problem is when I maximize my timeline panel, I lose access to all other panels. And this really limits what I can do here. I can't drag new footage in, I can't add effects or adjust them, I can't see my audio meters, I can't even access my tools panel. So what I wanted was a workspace where I could still maximize panels without affecting others. And here's what I came up with. When you maximize a panel with the Accent Grave key, it fills the area known as the application window. So that's everything that's underneath this gray bar across the top here. But in Premiere Pro, you can actually have more than one application window. So look at this, I'm gonna press Accent Grave again to restore this to the way it was. I'm gonna go over to my project panel and I'm gonna click the little context menu next to the project name. So that's these three lines here. And I'm gonna go up to panel group settings and undock panel group. And now this panel group, which is all these tabbed panels are in a separate application window. So I'll just resize these so I can see them both at the same time. I'll just drag this window across, drag this one up to the top, and I'll just extend the bottom down here as well. And now when I go over to my timeline panel and press Accent Grave, it expands it, but I can still see my project panel. And this alone made a big difference to the amount of time I spent clicking and scrolling. But then I took it a step further because there are other panels I'd like to always have access to over here on the left. So I'll just restore this panel back to the way it was. And I'm gonna go over to my effect controls and I'll just click and drag the name of the panel over to the left until I get this purple line at the bottom. Now what this means is I'm gonna split this panel in two with the project panel at the top and the effect controls at the bottom. Now I'll do the same thing with my tools panel, but because this doesn't have a panel name, I need to click in the panel. And what I wanna do is aim for this top left corner inside of the panel. If I click and drag this, I can just drag this down. And now I've added it to the left window as well. I'll also do the same thing with my audio meters over here. Click the top left hand corner and drag it over. Now there is one more panel I'd like to add that's not visible at the moment, and that's the time code panel. And the reason for this is if I maximize my timeline panel, the only time code I can see is the current time code. So wherever my playhead is, that's what it's showing me. But I'm not seeing the duration of the overall sequence or the duration of any in and out points I have. So to bring this up, I'm gonna go up to my window menu and I'll go all the way down to time code. Now this panel by default is a floating panel. I wanna attach it to all my other panels. So I'll just click that top left corner and drag it down. And I like to have this panel as small as possible. So I'm just gonna right click this and choose compact mode. And I'll just resize it until I can see all of the information inside the panel. And I'll also resize the tools panel cause that's taking up way too much space. And now I don't just have the ability to maximize the timeline panel over here. I can actually maximize the panels over here without affecting the timeline. So my effect controls, if I wanna select a clip here, you can see the audio effects are going off screen. If I hit accent grave, now I can see all of my effects and I can do the same thing with my project panel as well. And once you get everything looking right, the last thing you need to do is to save it as a new workspace. So I'm gonna go up to window and choose workspaces. And I wanna save this as a new workspace. I'll call this best editing workspace and click okay. 
And that's it. This is the workspace that I use every single day. I find it's a really fast and versatile workspace for doing the bulk of my editing work. If you found this video useful, please remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. But more importantly, if there's a custom workspace that works for you, why don't you tell us about it in the comments section below. Until next time, thanks for watching.